Another day, another night fight. Hello and welcome to 99 Games, where I play 99 games with my level 99 games friends. It's me, your host, Marco DeSantos, also known as the Mechanic Critic. And with me is the ever amazing, ever lovable, exceed world champ 2019. D, aka Tarenkin or Daniel Zeiger for short. How about I just call you my friend Daniel the Awesome for short? Uh, that's at your discretion. All right. I mean, so long as you're fine with it, then it's going to be great. We're going to be playing another game of Exceed Shovel Knight, this time showcasing two of the other blog post characters that we've released over the past few weeks. We're going to be playing some Propeller Knight against Mole Knight. Now, without spoiling too much, because we still want you to read those blog posts yourself, Daniel, let's give you a let's give a brief overview of our characters. How, why don't you start with Mole Knight? Uh, Mole Knight has this thing here. It's a burrow. He can dig around to place the burrow at different positions on the board, which will allow him mm -hmm. to create range-based mix-ups where he can pop out of the burrow to attack from a different position. So are you telling me that if the burrow is here, because you can set it at range 3 from you, mm -hmm. you could just grasp me from this range? Absolutely. Okay, uh, that sounds broken. What, what mitigates the power level of that? Nothing. You're in for it. Well... Eh, I don't think so, because you no. can only do that as an action on your turn. So you can't, if I strike you at this point in time, you can't actually defend with your grasp. Ah, you're right. The burrow says when you initiate a strike. Yes. Ah, I guess it's not overpowered after all. Ah, uh, well, too bad. My character's pretty overpowered. <laughs> oh, we'll see about that. What have you got? All right, so... Propeller Knight's ability is that your special and ultra attacks have hit. If the opponent is at this attack's maximum range, plus two power, before or after other hit triggers. So if we look at some of my specials and ultras, um, sorry, let's bring out a special or an ultra. For example, full broadside has a range of two to four with six power. However, if we're at my maximum range, which is four, so that's one, two, three, four, we're at four maximum range, I gain plus two power. So actually, full broadside does eight. Yeesh. That's an ultra, It's right? very powerful. Yep, it's very marvelous and very powerful. However, this only applies to special and ultra attacks, so no doing grasps for five power for no reason. Right? Very good. All right. So as with every game of Exceed, we will start the game with the inaugural coin toss. Daniel, please select your choice. Tails. Oh, you won a coin flip yet again. Excellent. You're cheating, aren't you? Of course. The coin's this game is invalid now. What have you done? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so first or second player? Uh, I'll go first. Alright, I will call second player because I have no choice. I would prefer not to be second player. So I will again take the time to show you my cards one by one. Here's this 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 one, and here's this one. Okay, I accidentally moved a bit too forward. Let me put back. I will get rid of one. I'm only against two. two. Three. I will get rid of three cards from my hand. Don't put them back into the deck, Marco. You have to draw your cards first. <laughs> I mean, Pardon. and there we go. All right. Uh, on the very first turn, I will place my burrow at a space at range 3 from myself, and draw a card, and then I will draw for end of turn. That's quite dangerous, I believe. You know, since I draw two cards, you could say I'm preparing the burrow. A. 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 I'm just gonna say A. He's good. So I will um, spend one force in order to activate my jet stream boost, giving me plus one speed and before pull one or two spaces. I'm going to be throwing away my grasp to pay for that one force. Sadly, unlike last week, I'm not treasure knight, so it's, it's not free. <laughs> ah, alas, I will draw a card. I will strike and I will declare that my attack has this effect on this bird here. That's quite terrifying. So I will do this. Let's see the resolution. All right. 
My speed is one, your speed is three. Yes. So I go first. Mm -hmm. So I may pull two, but I cannot move you due to your focus card. Yep. And I will attempt to pull you multiple times. It will just not work. Yep. So I will um, hit you with nothing. That's yep. unfortunate. And then having undersped you, I will duck into my burrow and pop you for four. And One, two, three, four. That was very bad for me. That's true. <laughs> It is my turn indeed. I will... Strike. Hmm. Okay, hmm. reveal. Oh. Okay, this is pretty good for me. That's a 4 special? Yep. It is a 4 special. So, I must pay uh, 1 force to perform it. I will uh, pay with this my um, headwind attack. Mm -hmm. So I will hit you for th one damage. But again, this attack only has a range of one. Therefore, one is my maximum range. So I gain plus two power, and this actually deals three damage. Ah, I see. Well, I have one armor, so I will take two of that. All right, wonderful. Then after, advance up to three spaces. I will advance one, two, three. All right. I am not stunned, so I will advance one and miss. And nothing happens. Yep. Uh, your Queen of Effect goes off there. As add this card to your boost area as a continuous boost, and then sustain it, which means that it doesn't go away. So I will I will keep this plus one power. Sadly, because you advanced, I am not at range three, so I don't get to get free gauge. That's unfortunate for me. Mm -hmm. All right. I will initiate a strike, and I declare that I am using my burrow. Interesting. Hmm. I will strike then. Speed four? Speed six. Ah, alas. All right, uh, so you're faster. You'll hit at range two. Yes, I will deal four damage to you. Uh, oh, because of this, indeed. Yes, then I will be forced to retreat. Well, I'm stunned. I'm running low on resources here. Mm-hmm. Marco needs to prepare, so I should prepare. All right. Hmm. I think I will prepare a burrow. Hmm, I'm not sure if that's the correct way to use that word. <laughs> it's just a normal English word. It makes perfect sense to me. All right. All right, I will... Hmm. So, I will activate the boost on quick step, advance or retreat one, then take another action. I will move on to your burrow. So, uh, one thing to note about the burrow is that if your burrow is unoccupied is one of the conditions to that movement effect. So, if I am on it, you can't actually teleport to your burrow. Mm -hmm. And I will prepare. This is your go. I see. I will... Hmm. I will gain my before effect. That is quite interesting. I wonder why. Regardless, I will play sweep. Is that a spike? Uh, it is not. Oh. That's okay, though. I see. So just in case I moved out of your range or something. So for example, if I had moved here or here, you would have been able to confirm and go near me. So maybe you have some melee options you want to utilize. Okay. I have um, plans. Oh, plans within plans within plans, Daniel. All right. I will um, pluck this card from your hand. What is it? It is a cross. That's acceptable. That's actually quite good for me. <laughs> I will and you spin. please take six damage unless you mitigate it. I'm going to mitigate it. Um, let's spend this. And take this. Two. Nah. And now you're taking zero. Yep. All right. That's all I want to take. All right. Um, is it my go? It is indeed. I will activate my favorite thing in the world. I exceed mode. 
Um, usually, I don't really play a lot of characters that exceed quite often, um, but this is going to be a special case. Activate Propeller Knight's Exceed mode. I gain a Rose, which Fancy. instantly makes me broken, right? Mm -hmm. Alright. So when you exceed, advance or retreat up to two. I will stay where I am. Your okay. special and ultra attacks have hit if the opponent's at your attack's maximum range plus two power. Same, same as before, but now I get a new effect. As an action, you may advance or retreat one, then strike. So you're not the only one who has movement during strikes, Daniel. I, I too have it. I will draw a card for the end of my turn. It is your go. I will prepare a burrow behind me then. That is quite interesting. I am going to perform what I call the propeller action. I'm going to move forward with my unique ability and then strike. Hmm. Let us see if I can read your attack correctly. All right. Is that a spike? Nope. No. I have failed. Yeah, it, it was not a propeller push or a headwind, I believe is what they call it. I will uh, take four damage. Yes, indeed. And I will draw a card. Mm -hmm. uh, do you, is that an after? No, it is a it's hit a effect. Hit. You're not stunned, though. This is okay. true. I swing over here. Hmm. If only I was there, Daniel. Sadly, I was too fast for the eye. That's all right. Uh, I believe... You struck. Yes, it is your go. All right. Then I will tunnel to retreat three. And since I land on my burrow, I gain a gauge. Why must you run from me? <laughs> I will activate my full broadside. Ooh. Search your discard pile for a boost. Play it, paying all costs, then shuffle your discard pile. So I, I want to get a specific card from here. Um, uh, it's a continuous no, boost. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not the one I want. This is the one I want. Ah, that makes sense. Uh, you, it says paying all costs, so you have to spend a force. So I will spend one of my my gauge in order to do that, mm -hmm. and then um, then shuffle your discard pile. All right, and then I will draw a card. Mm -hmm. This is your go. All right, I will, unsurprisingly, place my burrow again. Why am I not surprised at all? Because I said it was unsurprising. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> uh, let's see. I will strike, I believe. I will not use my action to move. Hmm, that's interesting. So that tells me I'm going to do something like that. I think. <laughs> I will wild swing here. Oh, that's wonderful. Spike? All right, I will assault your spike. All right. Dude. From this range, assault still beats spike. Pretty At broken, if five. you ask me. Hmm. <laughs> I right. will pull you one or two spaces as a before effect. I will pull you two, of course. I will then close two spaces as a before effect. Ah. And then I will hit you for uh, four damage, giving me advantage as well. Indeed. And what shall you do with it? Prepare. <laughs> Fair I need cards. I need cards. Hmm. All right. I'm going to gain my. Wait. That's the wrong card. Okay. Actually, you know, good exceed strategy is playing the correct cards, Daniel. I've heard that. Uh, I haven't had much practice at it though. I'm going to boost oh. to play defend. All right. Give myself better defensive stats. Excellent. I will perform a strike. Mm -hmm. And you didn't move, right? I did not move. I do not want to give you access to that burrow. All right. Oh, an assault into my sweep. Mm -hmm. um, I will mitigating hit you first. some of my damage there. You'll take four. Yes, one, two, three, four, and you will take five. Mm -hmm. And I will pluck a card from your hand. Just don't pull the wrong one. Was that the wrong one? Yes. Hmm. All right, so I've lost a hey, headbutt, me. but I now have four gauge. Uh, you lost a headbutt, but head on over to the next turn. <laughs> mm -hmm. And 
I will exceed. What is the succeed mode? So, now when you flip your burrow to exceed side, as an action, move your burrow into a space at range 2, 3, or 4, and draw a card. So now you can put it um, in way more spaces than you used to. Mm -hmm. And uh, what the, how does the burrow change? When I use the burrow's effects, if I if I move into the burrow, I gain plus two power. Oh wow! So all of your attacks essentially gain grasp boost on them, huh? Exactly. Starting now, I'll be hitting a lot harder. I am terrified, but I must soldier on by preparing. My options are not quite useful yet. All right, I'm going to spend a force to tank up with Stonewall. You're making me feel quite stonewalled here. <laughs> I will... Okay, I will retreat one space, and then... And then strike. All right. I'm gonna look at your discard pile. Hmm. I have a decent set of options, and yeah. I still could be spiking. I don't think it's spiking. This is the really cool thing about Propeller Knight. Sorry, let me just gush a little bit about one of my favorite characters in the set. Is that you can do these kinds of setups, right? I, I threaten so many things by just moving one space. Because right, like being here doesn't mean I'm just here. I could be here and I could be here, right? Mm -hmm. So it kind of messes with your ability to guess what I can do. I'm going to wild swing here. Wonderful. That's what Sweet. I want. However, it's a good thing I decided to cross out. That is fine with me. So you right. will hit me for uh, one your stone wall is quite good. I only deal one damage, mm -hmm. but I retreat all the way here. Yep. And I miss. Your attack goes to your gauge. Yes. And I will place the burrow here. It's quite an interesting set of moves, Daniel. Mm -hmm. I will uh, move here as an action and then perform a strike. All right. Hmm. So, let's see. Oh, that's not my That's right. <laughs> well, if, on if only you could reference yourself, you know? Uh, I wouldn't want to be self-referential. Hey! All right. As Bull Knight, I'm going to continue tanking hits. And I will perform a launcher. So, we're at range four. I must pay two gauge to do that. Um, I need to pay the appropriate cards because discarding specific cards in your gauge is key exceed strategy. Mm -hmm. All right, on hit, I will pull three and gain uh, advantage. I'll pull one, two, three, uh, and then I will deal five damage. I will take four of it. Yikes. And then you play belly slide, acute attack. And I will damage you acutely for four, and I draw a card when I hit. One, two, three, four. Okay. All right. This is not looking so good. Because oh. the big thing about it is that it seems like I have a significant lead, but it only takes two hits from Mole Knight to kill you. Exactly. Um, this is a really bad spot for me. I will retreat one space and then Wild Swing. I can see the sense in that. I think I... Hmm, do I feel... I think above all, I must not lose to Spike here, so I will play this. You play Assault into my dive. Oh, that's not good for me. All right, I am faster. I will close to hit for four. And so you, you will close to, you will hit me for four. One, two, three, four. I am indeed stunned. Indeed. Okay, it's your go. But at least now I'm on your burrow. And uh, you can't use your unique ability without having to move the burrow. Uh, so about that, it turns out that doing this, I just gain resources. So I'll place the burrow at range four and draw two. Oh no. Things are getting quite um, scary, Daniel. Mm -hmm. 
I have to prepare. Very well. I will tunnel. Moving here. Gain engage to do and that. Gain engage. <sighs> Your turn. You're doing scary things, Daniel. As it should be. So that's one really cool thing about Tinker Knight is that, like, sorry, Tinker Knight, uh, I meant Mole Knight. Okay. I meant Mole Knight in comparison to characters like Tinker Knight. It's because Tinker Knight's also a, a, a bruiser type character, right? Mm -hmm. But unlike Tinker Knight, Mole Knight has this ability to sit and lie in wait. Like, he doesn't really have to take the initiative a lot because he only needs a few strikes to win a game. Mm -hmm. So that's really interesting to me. Um, okay, anyway, I will perform my action, move backwards, and strike. That is fine. I am a patient mole. All right, mm, spin your gauge. You're, you're just moling down, uh, hunkering down. I believe I will spend all of my remaining gauge. I will hit you for once again five damage with my launcher. However, I have to pull you here. Uh, hold on. If you pull me to range one, aren't I no longer at your maximum range? Oh, right. That's true. However, my unique ability says before or after other hit effects so i perf i gain oh the it is a hit effect yes so i gain the hit effect bonus power before i hit pull you three i see right. so plus two power and then pull three and that is five i will yes. uh spend this to take no damage at all oh it is your advantage that's not yes it is indeed my advantage um i will perform a strike at melee range Hmm. I will respond to this. All right, I will reveal my attack. Oh, you defended on curve. Good exceed play. Ah, However, alas. not good enough. Well, you spend your I force. I will spend one force to pay for my force special, which will be this headwind. Mm -hmm. Sadly, headwind's not getting a lot of play this game. Uh, it's a pretty good attack, too. Um, I will hit you for three, stunning you. Uh-huh. And I will advance up to three. One, two, three. Right on top of your burrow. All right. I am stunned, so I do nothing. And your cleanup effect activates. My cleanup effect activates. This goes in here. Now, if you are at range three, which I am, you may add a card from your hand to your gauge. I will indeed add a block to my gauge. It is your turn. Very well. I am at my discard file. There is something that I want. Uh-oh. I'm going to prepare. I'm also going to prepare. All right. I will strike. And I choose not to gain my before effect. Choose not to gain your before effect. Um, that means you might be doing something weird. Okay, I'm going to do this in the hopes that you're going to run into me. All right. All right. Oh. Indeed not. Okay. I am That's faster and I'm enough. running away from you. Hmm. I lose my boost, which is unfortunate. However, I still draw a card because it is focus. Mm-hmm. Your turn. At this range, I feel relatively safe, so I will prepare. Hmm. I will prepare something for you. Hmm. I will blade flourish, giving me a plus one power and plus one speed. Uh, it's very similar to the swift boost from Street Fighter. I see. Uh, I will strike using the burrow. You gained the before? Mm-hmm. So now you're teleporting there. <sighs> I... I... I was hoping you weren't going to strike into me. <laughs> I'm gonna block. All right, I will spin a force. Oh, it's headbutt. Yeah, that's fine. It's because only it's a six power. 
it's quote unquote only a six power, six speed attack. Yeah. Oh, uh, my hit effect happens before you choose force, so I'm going to push two. And then choosing one, I will retreat. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. I, I didn't read that right. Uh, advance two and gain advantage. Okay, that sounds more appropriate to me. So, six so you're going to gain advantage this turn. Mm -hmm. It's six power. I need to get rid of some cards. I will get rid of my spike, and I will get rid of my dive in order to pay for the two in order to stay at 14 life. Okay. Your attack goes to your gauge, uh, and I will this your advantage. gain the effect of my burrow. Oh, um... I will respond with this. Very well. I'm excited. You are quite right. Uh, this will be a spectacular finish. I spend three gauge. I also spend three gauge. Oh my gosh, it's two ultras colliding. <laughs> yep. Mine collides first, since I win the speed tie. Oh, because you win the speed tie, yep. yes. So I'll move to my burrow, gaining plus mm -hmm. two power, and strike for 11 damage. Oh gosh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right. Unfortunately, you it's have. Good thing I have stun immunity. Stun immunity. All right. So you're Daniel, before attack. I will perform my attack. Oh. So I will hit you because my range is two to four. You are at indeed my maximum range, giving me plus two power. My before effect does not activate because you moved thanks to your burrow. Uh, however, it, because I'm still at my maximum range, uh, your erupt. Uh, you, I deal 8 damage to your erupt. I only have free armor, so that's enough to kill. Good game. Good game. Oh my gosh, you took out more than half my life bar <laughs> in one attack. Uh, not technically true. It was two attacks. Chained together with advantage. Chained together to form a super attack. Mm -hmm. um, well, no. I mean, yeah, there. That's a 6 damage attack advantaged into a conversion of 14 damage or something. Sorry, 11 damage? 11. Oh, gosh. If I had lost one extra strike this this game, I would be dead, right? That's that's mm -hmm. what would happen. I would actually be dead. Well, that's where Propeller Thrives, is right on the edge of his opponent's effective ranges, always dancing out of reach, so he never has to eat a payout like that. Yeah, um, it just so happened that I was um, fortunate enough that I had this ultra in my hand to be able to respond to your ultra. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! I was actually expecting was you very... to play Saber Lunge. Oh, but I w uh, yeah, the Saber Lunge would have sort of worked, but it wouldn't have worked, right? Because oh no, I would be here, and then I would miss. You would miss, I mean. So Saber Lunge uh, has what does it have on it? Advance. It's four, right? Advance three, I believe. No, it's four. I advance four. Right. Okay. And since it's four, you would go one, two, three, four. Activate your ability for plus two power. But I'd still have three yes. armor, so I wouldn't die. And then. And then you would go here and. I'd miss. go here, and I'd miss. So saber okay. lunge is what I was afraid of. I didn't expect uh, you to play full broadside well, in the slightest. Well, it, because when when fencing isn't enough, sometimes I just gotta shoot my opponent with a bunch of cannons, right? Marvelous indeed. Right. Daniel. That, that's the flavor text thank you so I said. Much. Marvelous. Yes. Um, sorry, I gotta pronounce it like they do in like Marvel vs. Capcom. Marvelous! Right. There you go. So, uh, thank you everyone for watching this episode of the 99 Games. Uh, where we show you some characters from Exceed Shovel Knight. If you are interested in any of these two characters, whether you want to dance around your opponents and make them suffer with your awesome ranges like Propeller Knight, or you want to be patient, wait, and then explode with an eruptive force like Mole Knight, check the description out below for the links so where you can pre-order and get your own copy of Exceed Shovel Knight now, or you could wait until the end card where we'll have a link to the store as well. As usual, that's been me, your host, Marco DeSantos, also known as Mechanic Critic, and with me has been my awesome, magnificent, and marvelous co-host, D, aka Terenkin, or Daniel Zager for short. And for short, my friend. So, without much else to say, thanks for watching, don't forget to change cards, and thank you, World of Shovel Knight. Thank you, and good night, knights. Happy gaming. 
Shovel Knight Exceed is available for pre-order now. Check the link to get the bundle and get a discount.